Welcome back to Shit Talk, episode two, where you're going to hear things like, what the fuck is really going on with them taking away our chicken and our sacred shard? When it comes down to it all, it's just the company taking away more from us and making us spend more time to do the same shit that we're already doing. That's all it comes down to. It's not more enjoyment. And again, you content creators, man, get off your ass. Stop trying to play safe in every fucking thing you do. You're going to make money. You're going to be fine. Stop playing the fucking safe card, man. This corporate, I'm all about business kind of shit gets tiring. And people see that. They see right through you. Raid isn't some amazing company that always makes the best decisions. Like, they've actually got a horrible track record of making the worst decisions in the last two and a half years. So stop being little bitches and do something. Get with your community and voice your opinion. No, voice their opinions about what's going on. Don't voice your own opinion. Talk to the company about what your people are saying. That's what you're there for. That's why you're in content creator chat. If you're going to take away my sacred shard and you're going to give me fragments, make it a universal fragment and you have a fragment shop. And you put every fragment champion that's ever been done in that fragment shop and then you can put any champion you want at any time in that fragment shop and why are you taking my five star chicken i need that five star chicken all of you need those five star chickens even if i was in the content creator program still getting five star chickens i still would be making lots of six stars so i need those five star chickens to go with all the other ones that i already buy and spend tons of money on all that stuff so yes we need our five star chicken it doesn't make sense at all to come out with something like this and then take it all away play any game any fucking game out there, Kim Kardashian shopping, go log in right now to Kim Kardashian. Look at the 30-day login reward. If they have summons, you're going to have it 30 days, the best summoning shard. And then around 15 days, you're going to have the void shard. You'll have an ancient thrown in there. You'll have gems along with energy. And then, of course, you'll have a legendary book thrown in there, which we don't have. We talked about that in yesterday's video. What's going on with our legendary books for all these legendary champions? We don't want everything for free in this game, but we do want it to be to a standard that's like all other games out there. And we want these little, I was going to use some words, these content creators out there that have no backbone whatsoever. Now, I've noticed this. In the last three months or so, I've noticed, and I'm not picking on any one content creator, all of them, all those effers out there, they all have been kissing the teat of Raid Shadow Legends. Like, anytime anything happens... We just got a decrease defense 10 times for this weekend with the shittiest decrease defense champions in the game. There's no Stagnite in there. We don't have Ugo, not even a Terrell in there for AoE decrease defense. What we got are all the people that nobody plays. A whole bunch of crappy, epic decrease defense that nobody plays. And I'm sure all the content creators were like, oh, look, they're giving us all these champions to make it through content. Go get them, guys. You know, you, you've got to stand up. I don't know if it's because you're too scared to make a stand because they kicked me out of content creator program. Maybe that's what it was, right? They're taking control. They kicked me out strategically to be like, all right, now all their content creators are going to be scared to say anything bad about this company. They're not going to talk bad whatsoever. And even still, or it's business, right? Maybe they're just too corporate. These content creators are too business, too corporate. They can't say anything bad. They don't want to say anything bad. They want to be, and there's nobody out there. Look, Fuck that. There is nobody in the world that is positive all the time. I don't care who it is. And if you're a content creator that is positive all the time, then it feels like you're fake. It feels like you're fake as shit when everything that this company does is cool. You try to put a positive spin. And people like positive spins, but there's got to be a point to where you're like, to where, you know, you can always say something a hundred different ways. You can say it like Stu Gaming to where it's going to piss people off and it doesn't get the point across well because I'm just saying it in a crazy, angry way. Or you could say it in a really intellectual way to where they'll pause and be like, you're right, that does make more sense if we do it a different direction. And that's what you content creators need to do. You need to stop being little bitches and listen to your community. That's what it's about. It's about the community telling you what they want, you relaying that information back in content creator chat to the company, and then the company taking it all in. Now, I will tell you, the company's just not going to go off of what content creators say. I was in there for two years. They don't give a shit what we say. Nothing. But if we're saying it all the time that our people are not happy with this, along with you guys bombarding Facebook, Twitter, going to Discord forums, typing everywhere on their YouTube as well, I don't like this new change. And they see that, right? They need more. They need more than just us saying it. They need to see it everywhere else in the world. Every social media out there, 
and then they can revert this change. Now they've done it before. I don't remember what it was, but they have come out with something that was absolutely crazy. We all complained about and they reverted it back to its original state. If you don't know what we're talking about is they're going to change the login reward after you've been playing for 271 days. Now this is going to affect you even if you're still logging in to get those original champions. Once you've been playing a game for 271 days, you get a sweet login. Well, it's pretty decent. It's, I mean, for Raid, it's glorious. It's the greatest thing we've ever had because this company does not like to reward you for playing their game. They're not generous about anything. They're elitist. All they want to make sure is that you're either in the top 300 in Platinum Arena to get Swift Parry to compete in Platinum Arena or that you're doing credit card versus credit card wars to make sure you get your reaction accessories. Other games, you farm that shit. You go out and farm it so we can all be competitive in those modes. So they have really good arena or tag team arena and then they have real time arena and everyone can be competitive. Not the credit card hogs, not the people who only finish top tier platinum arena, not the people who get, you know, only in gold in the bazaar so you can get your legendary books where the rich just get richer and it's all just elitism stuff in this game. No, they make it so that everybody can do the same thing and it's just time versus money. So you people out there that aren't in the gold three, you get bars lower. You're not in platinum arena, but you get, you still get that swift parry. We get the shittiest gold arena for rewards none of it is hardly ever six star rewards we get whatever that crappy set is just take that set out of the game already give us swift parry like you do in platinum arena but you see the trend you see how this company functions you see how they make their game but look at this they're taking away our five star chicken and oh what do you know a five star chicken over here in the cvc shop but to get that you've got to be clan level 11 to get that five star chicken this is going to create so much crap. CVC has already broken up so many clans. It's actually caused people to want to quit the game. You can't even get good clans anymore. I don't care about CVC. I think it's the dumbest thing ever created in any game that's a blatant pay to, pay to just do things in the game. It's so stupid. And then here, I don't even know how this is going to run. I don't think it's going to be good. Why can't they just make fun content that we all want to do? And then if you don't do well in that content, you get less rewards. If you do better, you get better rewards. But it's all the same rewards, right? You just don't get as many or as many tokens for a shop. Why does it always have to be like this? Why are we going to have so many clans that aren't rank 11 or it's going to take them two years to get to rank 11 to be able to save up for this five-star chicken? And then what? Now watch. This five-star chicken is going to go on an eight-week cooldown. Before you could get a five-star chicken just for logging in now you can get a five-star chicken if you get to rank 11 with your clan get enough of these you know stay stay busy all the time like we're not already busy enough and then you can get your eight week cooldown chicken watch that happen I, I bet you watch it happen it's gonna be so stupid so where's our legendary books in here man they I don't you know it's owned it's owned by a casino company what can we expect all games nowadays are owned by some big corporate conglomerate this one happens to be a casino company and all they're doing is ways to mind frack you that's all they want to do they don't want to make a fun game they just want to make a casino game honestly that's what it's come down to we love this game we love the look of this game but where's another company coming out with a look of this game like this where are you other company hello you could be making millions billions get to it please all these pansy ass content creators out here are scared that the company's going to drop them and it's not about them getting their free chickens or free gym giveaways or the rest what it's about is information they are able to get information quicker than anybody else while being in the content creator program they also have access to a test server which means that they level up all these champions that they tell you hit so hard and do so well and they never have to level them on their normal account or spend resources to do it because on the test server it's all free you do it all there and then you never do it on your main which saves you thousands upon thousands of dollars they show you how great this champion is and they never level it up they already got their legendary seer they have their legendary seer they don't need to level anybody else they blow up the game with it and they don't worry about ever spending that on their normal account or spending money on their normal account so it's about the information it's about the information coming to them quickly so they can get it out and get money off of that for me i've got to wait a day or so to get that information and by then not as many people want to watch they've already seen it all right so i gotta to try to put a whole new spin on it so people will come over and watch me a day late and a dollar short that's what it comes down to that's why they're so goddamn scared also did a community post about what's going on 
I was, it was late, right? 15 hours ago, I was already in bed with the family and I posted here what's gonna change. I gave you two options. I like this change, more champions over time, 19%. Raid is being dumb again. Give me my five-star chicken in sacred, 81%. 2,600 people have voiced their opinion on this already. Now, I don't like to, okay, I do like to jump. I like to jump to conclusions. I like to be hot-headed, but it's nice to take a step back and have a whole day to look at this situation, to see if there's some light at the end of this tunnel. I don't see it. Unless they do the fragments like I just talked about, I don't see it. I would rather have my sacred shard and my five-star chicken. That's really all I've got, everybody. My voice is going out. I'm tired of bitching. I'm tired about all the other content creators just sucking on Raid Shadow Legends. Get kicked out of the program. It'll probably be the best thing for you. Yeah, you'll get information late. Big fucking deal. Man up and do what's right for the community. You guys, let me know your thoughts down below. I appreciate your time. Please subscribe if you haven't. Just like my last video, from the bottom of my motherfucking heart, if you have anything bad to say about my video, go fuck yourself. And I love you. Subscribe after that. I will see you all in a video soon.